Welcome to the Save and Load Selection training video. The purpose of the Save Load Selection List is to save lists of members and or material either by selection from the model, from selection lists, or by manually created lists. The Save List then can be edited or loaded to select members or materials from the model or to be used with selection lists such as reports, CNC, plots, etc. This tool applies only to members and materials, not bolts, holes, or welds. Let's begin with the location of the Save and Load Selection options. From the Edit drop-down menu, I will tear this menu off. We can see that we have the Save Selection, Load Selection, and Edit Selection commands. From the Stick model, I'm going to select some members, then save the selection as Members Only. Let's go ahead and clear and then load that selection list that we've just created. We can see the members have been selected. From the selected members and model, I'm going to run the report Member Quick Review by Selection. We can see that the report selected the members from the model. After clearing the selection, I'll go ahead and run that same report again then load that saved list that was created from the model into the selection list to demonstrate that you can save and load these selection lists between model and any tool where a selection list of members and material is presented. Using the edit selection we can see that the members only list contains the member number and the piece mark. Using the delete option I'm going to go ahead and remove the vertical brace and the joist from this list. After loading this members only list, we can see that the remaining members on the list have been selected in the model. Notice that the joist and the knee brace have been removed from that selection. I will remove from the model some of these members that are selected and then go ahead and save the selection under the same name. This demonstrates how you can remove items from the list visually. I will set the model to solid to demonstrate members and material selection. It is important to note that there are member lists which contain in the list the member number and piece mark and material lists that contain only the piece mark. When loading a material list, you are prompted to search for either members with matching piece marks or materials with matching piece marks. For the next portion of this demonstration, it is important to note that the main material piece mark matches the member's shipping mark. Filters will affect the selection. In some earlier releases of 7.3, certain post selection operations used in conjunction with save selection would cause some random results. Let's set this filter here to Material and select the beam and chevron braces main material with crossing and the column gussets. Now I will save this selection and let's call it Material Only. Not that it's absolutely necessary, but I'm going to go ahead and set my filter back to default so I don't forget for later operations. When we edit the material only list, we see only piece marks and no member numbers with piece marks in the list. This is as it should be since we set the filter to material. A prompt was not required since there were no members in the selection. If there were members selected, we would need to be prompted to create either the member or material list. We will see that in the next portion of the demonstration. Please remember that the main material piece mark matches the member's shipping mark in this model. I would also at this point like to add a clarification. The list itself doesn't know whether it's a member list or a material list. This is names that I've given to these lists to help facilitate this particular training. When I go ahead and load the material only list, 
I'll be prompted to select either member or material. Since there's only a piece mark in the list and not member numbers, the system needs a bit of direction on what type to search for and select. If the option to select members is chosen, the beam and the brace members are selected and the gussets on the column are not selected. This is because the piece mark in this case did match the member mark and therefore selected the member as was requested by the prompt. We can tell the members are selected due to the material on the member becoming the green select color. The gussets are not selected because the piece mark does not match a member but a material. So the gusset selection is disregarded. When the material only list is loaded and the material option is selected, we can see that all the material is selected including the gussets. When there is a mixed list of selected items, meaning members and material, you will be prompted on what you want to save in the list. Using the crossing on the members main material, I will select the beam and the braces and add to that the gusset plate only at the bottom of the columns. At the prompt that appears after the save selection, I will select members and then save the selection as mixed member. When mixed member is edited, you can see that the gussets and main material were not included in the list, but only the members, indicated by the member number and the piece mark on the line. I can verify this by clearing selection and then loading the mixed member, and we see that only the members are selected and not the gussets. Once again using crossing on the members main material, I will select the beam and the vertical braces members and main material. I will then add to this selection just the gusset plates here at the bottom of the columns. At the prompt that appears after the save, I will select material and then I will name this mixed material. When the mixed material list is edited, we can see that only the piece marks are within the list. There are no lines with member numbers and piece marks. When the mixed material is loaded, I am prompted, like earlier with material only, to choose what is to be selected. This time I will select the member, and we will see only members selected. Any piece marks that do not match a member are disregarded. When I go and load that mixed material once again and select the material option in the prompt, we can see that all the material is selected and not the members. This also includes the vertical brace gussets. Now when I select the beam and brace material by selecting the main material, we will actually be selecting the members as we can see by all the material in the member becoming the select color green. Then I will add to the selection these gussets once again at the bottom of the column, just the plates. Then I'll go ahead and save the selection, but this time I'm going to select material. Let's go ahead and overwrite the mixed material selection. When I edit the selection, we can see that only the plate material is selected. The members, they're not added to this list. That's because during the prompt I chose it to only select the material even though in the selection list it was a mix of members and material. I will select one of these 11B1 batched members. Let's go ahead and save this selection and name it Batched Member. In the Edit Selection list, I'm going to add to this the next consecutive member number in the batch. When this list is loaded, we can see the original selected member 
and we see the member selected from the member number only. Now when I go ahead and I edit the batch member once again and then delete those members in that list, I'm going to go ahead and add in the 11B1. Please note that this is case sensitive. Now when I go ahead and load that selection, I will be prompted to select either member or material. Let's go ahead and select the member. What I want to point out is even though it was just a piece mark entry of 11B1, the system selected all the members. This now brings up another important point. When loading a selection list in the model, only the members that are within the view and depth check will be selected. This function is the same as your modeling tree. Finally, you can also load multiple save selections to the model or selection lists. Let's go ahead and load this member only. This allows you to combine multiple lists with selection. In conclusion, SDS2 will prompt the user when direction is required for selection during saving and loading. The key is the member number in front of the piece mark, which determines what I call the member list from the material list, which requires prompting. Save and load selection can be used in the model or any selection list, and the list can be created and used interchangeably. Save selection will allow you to avoid the redundancy of having to remember or continually input lists of piece marks or member numbers for different operations within the system. This concludes this video.